my crazy thoughts on this immigration thing. Um, you know, we've seen we've seen a very big influx since NAFTA agreement, which is National Free Trade Agreement, signed somewhere in the 2000s, somewhere around there. And we watched all our job sources of little manufacturing and all these little um, uh, industries move south or move across the sea because profits became more important than jobs. And it's interesting that that really devastated the economy because what happened is Canada started trying to influx immigration to keep... I've seen a lot of jobs at that time uh, going to construction and I was already in. And that was interesting that that immigration... And now this year Canada let uh, a million immigrants in this year. Biggest immigration ever. And I have nothing against immigrants, but what happens to when you let 400,000 people into Toronto and they're only building uh, 196,000 uh, homes a year, right? All of a sudden, that inflation will skyrocket. And, and CGOB kind of hung up on somebody the other day because he was kind of touching on that a little bit. And they, they don't want to talk about it. But it's interesting. Oh, it's all good. We're welcoming. Yeah, but okay, uh, economies. Right, this this isn't an economy where you can live with no heat and no things. There's a lot of uh, product that needs to push out. Not like East India, where you can actually put a tin roof on on a on a dirt wall and and uh, call it home, right? But but they keep on giving. But in that great reset, right? Because is it not better off for the Gentiles to lose their riches or be greatly diminished in order to come to fulfillment? Well, both Europe and North America are the Gentile nations and they are the richest, right? So in their global reset, right, they want that economy to be level with China and India and Japan so that the marketing and the manufacturing can come here, right? But it's interesting how they play this game of all these gears turning. I always call it chess, right? But the but they are rich, the Gentiles, and in need of nothing, right? Um, it's interesting that even in the vials before it's going to happen, it says there's going to be a penny of wheat uh, or a penny for a measure of wheat a day and three pennies for a measure of barley and don't hurt the oil and the wine. Well, what's the... What's the oil? It's the Holy Spirit. And what's the wine? The Word, right? So, and it's interesting that all these gears are turning so perfectly. Like the, like that scripture has the light, I tell you. <laughs> because it's interesting how it all lines up, all those parables. It's just wild in my head. And if you let in a million immigration into Canada, what's going to happen to all the inflation? And then they're fluctuating with that, with that uh, carbon emissions, um, uh, uh, taxes and carbon taxes and all that. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. They, but when I grew up, I'm going to give you a little tidbit before, is when I grew up, I watched all the, there was many hog farmers where I grew up. And when I grew up, I watched all these hog farmers build, 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 build. And then all of a sudden, the government did this in the markets with swine flu, chicken flu, mad cow disease, all these farmers, right? And it took about a decade and a two decades and almost all of them went broke. Well, get ready, people. They're going after the private sector now. 